This is a video on how to align, focus, and set the exposure of the spectroscope. And here in this window, I have an IDE with uh, Python, and I have a terminal window down here that I'll use to run the scripts. The spectroscope itself is located here. There's a diffraction grating on this side. And on the back here, there is a slot, stainless steel slide with varying size slits that can be moved in and out to uh, change the, the slit size. The camera is located here on its uh, camera board and it attaches to an Arduino form factor shield down here, which is uh, then attached to the microcontroller. We have a CFL lamp over here that we'll use as a light source and to evaluate and to develop and evaluate a spectrograph. There's a wooden alignment platform down here that uh, holds things and uh, is also used to uh, ease the alignment of the spectroscope. So I'm going to turn off this overhead lamp now and turn on the CFL light. And to keep from blowing everything out, let me just uh, stick this over the lamp so we can see a little bit better. And uh, I'm going to use the script live.py here, which uh, shows us a live uh, visual of the spectrograph over time uh, to align and focus. And the script that I'm running down here, there are two arguments required. The port dash P, uh, which on my Windows machine is COM9, and the exposure dash E, which uh, is set at 12,000 or 12 milliseconds. So with that, let me just run it and let's have a look. Here we go, as expected, it's not showing anything because it's not aligned with the diffraction grating. And that alignment needs to be approximately um, 44 degrees uh, to the diffraction grating. You can see it coming in here. It's eased greatly by the fact that I've set up these uh, wooden blocks and glued them down that allows me to align very quickly. Now, if necessary, I can also adjust um, the lens back and forth in order to get better focus, but right now we're in pretty good focus, so I don't really need to do that adjustment. Uh, but I do need to set the exposure. It's uh, showing clipping right up here at the top. So to do that, I'm going to go back to the, uh, the uh, terminal line here. And um, we had that set at 12 milliseconds. I'm going to change it to 6 milliseconds. All right. And uh, we're, we're just below 2,500 there. It, it's uh, pretty close, but uh, not clipping at the moment. So... Uh, I might even bump it down a little bit more here. Let's, let's go to uh, 5,000. There we go, that's better. Uh, it's not clipping for sure now. now. There is another feature that's really nice, uh, which allows you to automatically scale the y-axis. And I'll do that now so that we can uh, see the spectrograph a little bit better. That's done with the uh, dash A for auto scale. And uh, have a look. All right, so uh, that's it. You can see we've got a really nice spectrograph here with clear peaks. Uh, it's not scaled on the x-axis yet, but I'll show that in another video.